Well, hi, big boy. Well, hi. Hi. How you doing? I think you like being up front, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, you like it? I know, lots of stuff to see and check out, yeah. Oh, he's so not happy. Good morning, YouTube. My name is Will. There's Lotus. And there's Enzo. The sun is just now starting to come up. So the pups have a big, well, Lotus has a big day today. Lotus has to go to the vet to figure out what is on his skin, some sort of skin tag or something, I don't know, but I wanna be sure and know what it is. Uh, so he has an appointment at 11.45 this morning. Sit. Break. Seriously, Lotus? Seriously? You gonna eat that last bite? Oh, you guys want snackies? Yeah? Alright. Well, here's a couple for Enzo. And here's a couple for Lotus. No, that one's a snack too. I promise. Oh, he's suspicious. He's on to it. Lotus. Huh? Lotus. Get some more snacks. We'll get snackies. <gasps> okay. How did you take them all with the pill? <laughs> oh man, got that peanut butter. Yeah. Yeah, got that peanut butter. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you want some? Goodness, was that delicious? Hope you don't get a belly ache with snacks and PB. Oh yeah, you gonna feel good here soon. Yeah. All right, exactly one hour before his appointment. We taking our trazodone. Yeah. Hopefully that helps a little. All right, I put it in park and we had a little bit of a meltdown and we're shaking. Why are we shaking? You've never been here before. You don't even know what this is. What do you mean you know? You just know. Oh, you that smart? In all seriousness though, you can tell he definitely liked being up front, having the full view. He is shaking now though, and I don't know why. So we're here, Lotus, um, for the skin issues, right? Right, the one, it's on his back. It's like literally like right back middle. If you okay. run your hand down his spine, you'll feel, feel it. it. Does he mess with it at all? No, nah, I don't think he could if he wanted to. Okay, okay. Um, and then he's due for his shots. Okay. Lotus is definitely one where we make it all count because he does not care to be places. Right. Um, and then as far as the shots go, it looks like he's due for everything. Yeah. So the rabies, parvo distemper. Um, did you want to do that? Uh, it looks like we've done lepto vaccine before on him. Do you want to do that again? Um, I don't know what that. Um, it's lepto is more for um if you like go hiking. Oh and... yeah. Hi, Bubba. Are you ready? <laughs> Alright, buddy. Let me help you. Hi, bud. There we go. Do you need. Oh, you got one. You can put this over his. He's like, phone. no, wait, I want to go back. Oh, poor guy. Oh, he's so not happy. Oh. Oh. 
I've said it before. I mean, I feel bad when I leave Enzo places, but I feel just gut-wrenching when I have to let him go in places because he is just so, like, what is happening? Why am I being taken away? <sighs> I don't know if you could tell on the camera, but, you know, he was all excited to get out and then immediately tried to get back in. He was like, no, 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 no. never mind, never mind. Don't want to go with this lady. Don't want to go. I want to stay. Should have brought the vacuum. Could have vacuumed while I was waiting. They said you did so well. They said you did so well. Oh my goodness. I didn't expect you to be out that quick. My goodness. They said you did so well though. Yeah. Yeah, you like her? Yeah, she's nice. Alright, here's everything for today. Alright, thank you. You're welcome. You have a wonderful day. You too. Got the heart pills, yep. And you're all taken care of, I know. Yeah, see that wasn't so bad. Hey Lotus, it's a little warm, but do you wanna stop at the parky for a minute? A little reward? You wanna stop at the parky? Yeah, we'll go to the parky? Just me and you? Oh man, getting excited. You know, it's 85 out, but there's no humidity really, so it doesn't feel too bad. I'm gonna do just a few fetch, just a few, because it's still really hot. Just a few. Oh man, Lotus, you're gonna sleep this afternoon. Say, so we gotta get some happy out of this trip. It can't be all bad. Even if it was pouring down rain and cold, wouldn't matter. We'd still stop. We'd do something positive. Can't have the whole trip be negative. Yeah, so they gotta get some positivity. Say so just a little bit. Can't overdo it. Yeah. Don't wanna get heat stroke. Have to go back to the bed. That'd be bad for many reasons. Straight out of the FJ to the house. Well, hi, Lo Enzo. Well, hi, buddy. Trust me, you didn't want to go. No, trust me, you didn't. Oh, hi. 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 Now, I didn't tell him we were going anywhere. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I left the FJ open. A lot of times, Enzo will hop right in. And he's like, I'm not getting left behind. You want to go somewhere? You want to go for a ride? Go on. Watch the tail. Watch the tails. Watch the ears. Well, you knew we were going to have to stop again. It's only fair. Apparently, it's too hot. We've been here. That was the second throw. Here, Lotus, let me get it before it goes in the grate. Buddy, is it too hot? I know. Wow. All right, then. All right, I guess we're leaving. It's too hot. <laughs> wow, that's a new record, I suppose. Now, I don't know if you could hear that, but I generally have a rule, no toys in the back. Uh, mostly they don't play with them anyways, but I'm afraid they're gonna like drop it out the window or something. So it's rare, only a handful of occasions have I let them keep a ball back there. And only once ever has he dropped it out the window. So you drop that, I'm not gonna be happy. I'm not gonna be a happy camper. I'm gonna be really mad if you drop that ball out the window. You did, didn't you? Break. <sighs> and I know where you did it, too. Well, no, it's not going to be there, Goof. Come on. Get back in. In. 
It's not under the FJ. Ends up. It's no, it's gone. And this is why I didn't let you want you to have it. You said you wouldn't drop it. You're gonna be lucky if I can find it. I thought I saw him with it in his mouth, and then he didn't, but I was like, well, he didn't seem to respond at all, so I was like, I don't think so, but maybe. All right, like I said, the couple times I've let him keep a toy, I always keep an eye out for when, like, road marks, like where I last saw it and stuff, and so I know for a fact where, I'm like 99% certain where he must have dropped that at. So I'm pretty certain it was like right before this hill. So depending on how much momentum it had, it could be anywhere around here. I do not see it. Hmm. Now if we came right at sunset, we might, might see it glowing. All right, we're gonna turn around, we're gonna give it one more pass, and then that's it. You're just gonna have to go without. Oh my gosh, I think I just saw it. I decided to give it one more pass, just one more, and I think I just saw it. So I remembered we were coming right over this hill the last I thought I saw him have it. And I think it is right here in the grass. I think that's it right there. Oh, I don't even want to hear it from you. It's your fault. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I got ran over or not. I've ran over him several times, so. Do you see what I found? Do you see it? I found this in the grass while driving. Do you see what I found? Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it though. So at least the attempt to rinse it off. Wow. Now, you should never care what other people think about you. We all know this, but there can be times where it's like, yeah, okay, this looks a little weird or something. As I was walking back towards the FJ a moment ago, on the side of the road, holding up my glow ball, very happy, and, and talking to my pup in the car, talking about how I had to go search for this thing, I realized that I think I've hit a new level of not caring what other people think, because I can only imagine what people must have thought who drove by and saw what I was doing. <sighs> After all that, you're gonna leave it in the grass? Yeah, you better go get it. You better get your ball. Come on, let's go get some lunch. Well, we're gonna cool off. Then we're gonna get some lunch. Wow, pup. You're all wiped out, yeah. That's too much, I know. All right, I'm gonna eat lunch, I'm starving. I'm gonna try to get him to eat lunch. I know he's starving, but he can be too tired to eat. I bet you're hungry. You guys still need to cool down a little bit. And then we'll uh, go over what all he had to do at the vet. Four to six weeks later. All right, so I realized I forgot to shoot what all happened with Lotus. But basically it ended up being what the vet described as a carotene-like growth, which you can Google it if you want. There's all sorts of ugly images of them. His didn't look nearly that bad. Um, but she literally, she was like, I just pulled it off. It was gone. She's like, it might come back, it might not. So we're keeping an eye on it. So far, nothing. Um, I'm actually, you know, this was mid-July. It is now September 4th. And, you know, it's been two months almost and nothing. So, um, yeah, I mean, definitely needs to be taken care of, but wasn't anything that was really gonna harm him. It's just when you have, they have like too much carotene in their system or something, I don't know causes these little like gross to come out sometimes. Not a big deal, it's more just appearance than anything. Other than that, he did really well. You know, they said he did well, he, he always does. What are you chasing? Find something good?
You got the jealousies really bad, you know that, Enzo? Yeah. Yeah, you do. You got them jealousies. Baby brother gets a little attention, you get the jealousy. Well, that's pretty much gonna do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> Subscribe for more German Shepherd content. Appreciate you guys as always, and we will see you. We'll see you in the next video. Later, guys.